Welcome back to the Long Dark Science Experiments. I believe everything's working now. So, we need to find some saplings. And the way out of here is over here. We need maple saplings. So, having consulted the maps, it would be over here. Now the main road, main road goes over there, so this should be a place over here. Where there's a maple sapling. I don't know if we can get through here. Nope, can't get through there. Are we stuck? There, not almost stuck. It was very early in the morning and we need to take a drink and eat some food. So we'll do that as soon as we get in the wind sheltered spot here. This is a good enough spot. Let's look at our food, sort by condition, eat the heavy stuff. That just about fills us up. We have lots of water. Our pack is quite full. Let's take a look at what we've got for tools. Uh, a ruined torch, which we'll drop. Um, not a lot of other stuff. A bunch of charcoal so we can chart. So let's do that. Okay. Well, there's old man's beard lichen around here somewhere. This is a spot we couldn't get to before, isn't it? I don't know. We can certainly get up here. And then we can get back where we were stuck before, so... There's the lichen. And there should be a maple sapling around here somewhere. Possibly. Maple saplings are really scarce. That is very frustrating. Okay, the next closest place to find a maple sapling is at, is at the winding river to transition to a desolation point or not desolation, to uh, Mystery Lake. So... And what do we have for uh, weapons here? No weapons in inventory. So we might as well... Let's go this way. Sketch again. We're getting cold. Let's take a look at our. We're wearing everything. We appear to be. Yep. Uh, and uh, right now it's minus 33. It's very cold. So that's why things are a little touchy there. So if we head over that way, we come to the uh, hunting line, which should be up over this hill here.
So it's a good thing we don't have to worry about wolves because it would just add a whole nother layer of complexity to, to this testing problem. see where are we well let's sketch our location try to find some wind shelter here yeah okay oh there's a wolf okay we need to go a little bit that way These mountains look steep. Looks like a new day is dawning. Well, time to sketch again. We'll get up here. Out of the wind a little bit. Do our sketch again. Reishi mushrooms and rabbits. Should be a hunting blind around here somewhere. That over there. Those are stumps, aren't they? Well, let's keep on going here. We'll look for a broken tree that usually signals uh, access to a different area. Along this ridge, we know we have to find that cave. The transition to Winding River. There's a drowned tree right over there. This may be the ridge here where the hunting blind is. I don't want to get it back up on there, I think. Here's the down tree. This usually indicates something around here. That looks kind of like it. Yeah, this looks like the spot, all right. We can find the cave. Oh, that looks like a cave, all right. So let's sketch. No visibility, eh? There's a cairn. It's going to be painful if we run out of flares, isn't it? How many have we got? We got daylight here. Is 
that go? Looks like it's a dead end. Well, this takes us down. I remember this. This here, there's another cairn. And I don't know if there's anything in here. go. There's a dude. Thank goodness. I'll take that. Oh. This looks like the way out. And there's some more sticks. Come back for that. We've got daylight there. So I think this is going to be the exit here. Hope we can find our way back. Yep, that was the exit. Carter Hydro Dam and Environs. So we're in Winding River now. And it is very stormy here. Secluded spot. Nope, can't, can't map in low visibility. Okay. Up we go. Boy, the weather's miserable, eh? No maple saplings, and that is a problem. get up on the right hand side here. Look at the trees though. That's a neat effect. Let's take a look at our status here. Feels like minus nine. Wind chill is minus three. Minus thirty-five. And we are getting wet. Well that's the way up over there. another cairn. We can get up here. What do we find up here? Not much. Looks like another cave. It has got a fire spot. Still eat this. 
lantern fuel, grape soda, and we don't need that. So do we actually have anything we can uh, research? I think we, we might have. Let's take a look at our tools. We do not have any books with us. So... So we don't have a whole lot to do here. no point in hanging around here. We might as well keep on exploring. Get up here. There's a tree. There's three trees. I bet you they're all going to be birches. Maple. Wow. Three of them. Three maple saplings. Well, we want to hightail it back. And while we're here, there's a deer we could... Should be some feathers. There's a feather. There's an arrow. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. And we just want the guts, I think. 32 minutes, 16 minutes. Okay, let's let's get a. What's quartering gonna cost us? Hour and 30 minutes. That's it. Hour and 30 minutes, nothing night. Hour and 30 minutes, okay. Let's get the guts and the meat. Okay, that's getting us cold. Okay, let's get out of here. Go warm up again. Go back to that cave. And cook some reishi mushrooms. This will heat us up. The cold is making my head feel thick. And grab some sticks. Accelerant this time. Turned out pretty well.
fuel. And that. And that. That gives us three hours. We have a sewing primer. I think we're done researching that. that we can uh, actually we can, uh, we can craft some stuff see how long that takes I need to drop something. 16 minutes still ready. So let's cook something like... Uh, inches, yes. And we'll go back and we'll... Craft those. That should just about get us ready to eat that meat. Yep, the meat looks ready. Let's eat it. Too heavy. Uh, let's see here. Food. That's cooked. Too full to eat. Oh wow. We're too we can cook up some let's see what we can cook up. We need a tin can, don't we? Okay. Prepared ro reishi mushrooms. So let's cook that. Cook that. That will warm us up. That gives us a few calories and warms us up. So now we're all fully warm, and we have two hours on our campfire. Let's take some torches. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Okay, let's look at our inventory and see what we got here. 36 out of 34 because we we picked up some some uh, green birch saplings and three maple saplings so and two guts and we've got that for a marker trail marker we've got plenty of food here this is at a hundred percent at 100%. We could get more arrows here, but we're really not short on arrows. So, what time is it? Mid-afternoon. I think it's time to get back. We're going to leave this fire. Oop, take that. What's in here? No, that old mug. We don't need that. We're going to head back. We've gotten our three birch saplings we needed. Oh, it's miserable out here again. It would have been nice if we could have slept, but... Uh, we could take these along with us. We've got quite a few of them. I'm going to drop them. 
somewhere. So that's the dead end there. So this must be where we go up. This looks like the hill. This will get us around. Now let's see if we can sketch here. Yes, we can survey. Well, that's good. Where the heck are we? I don't know. Hmm, there's some broken trees. Who was that? What's the Karen? Yeah, it's boring looking at Karen's, isn't it? And since we're prepared, we'll stop and sketch. Oh, we're losing warmth, but just a little bit. So now, where the heck we're. Isn't that strange? Yeah, that, so that's where we came from, and this is where we are now, I assume. So we came down that, that thing on the right. Did I get turned around here? I may have gotten turned around. So if this is a dead end up here, we know we're turned around. This is a dead end. So, let's consult our map here. I think that's where we are. So if we go down here a ways, we should be able to see more. So let's go down here a ways. I want to drop these sticks soon. Sketch here. It's not really helping me very much, is it? There's our cave. Need to There's our soon. broken tree marker. More sticks, pick them up and put them down. There's some rose hips which we don't need. Let's see how many sticks we have. We have 13 sticks and two chunks of fir firewood. So that's going to come in handy some sooner or later. And a sewing primer which we can't no longer use. So we are not. Cool. So all these sticks are just going to be useful for trail markers. And there's another deer here, which we can get. And we can make a little fire here to cook with. We could even use... Could even use this guy here. Oh, chance of success zero. Oh well. Seventy percent accelerant. Lamp oil. Okay, let's use it. Might have to drop some gear. Yeah, now we've got a load. Well, 
let's cook some meat here, eh? Select that one. Thirty minutes and forty-four minutes. And what time is it? It's close to dusk. Well, I'm gonna drop the rest of the firewood here. We'll hang on to that. Okay. our way deeper into the cave here. Oh, we need a torch, don't we? Let's grab a torch. More cairns. We're going to go right. We searched him already. We came this way. Another cairn come to a big room soon. Oh dear. I think this is going to loop back. Oh dear, it's a dead end. So we went right, so we're going to keep on turning right here. And get up to the next opportunity. And go this way. Well, do you have anything to drop? Yes, we can drop that. Here's our big room. We came in and we searched, and there is our sleeping bag. So we can actually take a nap here. And that might be just really advisable because guess what? It is nearly dusk. And we need to rest. So let's make a fire. We do not have wood. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because of course I left it all there. Take it easy, bud. Something's making me feel really tired. Okay, we can't re research it. But we've got that. And we'll stretch it out here. Feels like 27, so we're plenty warm. Okay, let's take a look at our status here. We're exhausted. We're dry, but we're full. Okay. So let's go look at our food. Lowest condition is this. Uh, we have nothing to cook with. If there were some sticks around here. There is some sticks. We can reclaim that. We got a stick out of it. Now we'll get our fire going. stick 
Okay, we have accelerant. So let's let's do this. That should help warm things up. Now we're 45 minutes. What's that thing over there? Wool ear wrap. Oh, can we wear that? Let's take a look at our clothing. Wool ear wrap. We'll wear it. It's at 28%, so we can uh, repair it. We'll do that. And it's now at 100%, so that's good. Uh, we're still wet. It will probably dry off a little bit closer to the fire. Have we got anything to add to that? No, we just have... We have that. Sewing primer. We'll add that. Wilderness Kitchen, we can research. But uh, for the moment, we're exhausted. Let's have some food and drink. Oh, let's cook that. some water and now we'll have an extra can and we'll be all warmed up we'll sleep for 12 hours if we can our fire is going to be out I could have dropped some stuff to cure but um, it's dark why is it dark? Because it's darkest just before the dawn, that's why. There's our campfire. Take some charcoal, two pieces. Start a fire. The only thing we can start with is a torch. So we might as well light a torch. Should we leave this bedroll? Let's go over. Let's go over here and drop it. It's a tool. And we'll drop one of these tin cans because we don't need them. Seven. Eighty-seven. That's the one we want. So, how do we get the heck out of here? Well, where did we come in? Over there, right? So, obviously, the way out has got to be over this way. I hate going around in the dark in these places. Always a pain. Uh oh, this doesn't look right. This doesn't look right. right where we started from, didn't we? Hmm. Let's just keep on going right. Can't get up there. Stuck. We 
get up there. Yeah, so we can get up here. Do you remember where we came? Yeah, up to dead end. Here's the boards we gotta cross. Oh, darn it all. That was kind of a drag. So let's uh, drop this torch, equip this one, and light it off that one. Oh, too late. So. the right wall here until we find a slope we can get up. There's the slope we can get up. And we get to the planks. And we have to be careful on the planks because if you go down the middle, guess what? You fall down. So we'll go on the inside one this time. That takes us back down there, but we don't want to go there. We want to go this way. Another set of twisty turny passages. Like the way out. Okay. So let's put this out and holster it. So now we might as well chart here. This should show the cave on it. Hopefully, yep. Frozen corpse, and there's the cave. And we need to go straight that way, which is more or less straight across this hill. So there's an archway over there. And let's get down here. I get lots of goodies. I'm thinking <coughs> that the hunter's blind is right up here. <coughs> and there's a deer. And there's the hunter's blind. Poor us and no rifle, eh? And there's some crows. That means crow's feathers. So let's sketch here. That puts us hunter's blind right there. Okay. Oops. Went backwards there. Sorry. More stuff. More goodies. Granola bar. I wonder if this is any good to eat. Nope. 46 too low. More reishi mushrooms. I'm full of my reishi mushrooms. There's the corpse. A dude. A bunch of feathers. Another arrow from the looks of it.
do we want from here? Anything? Two guts. Take the guts. We're a bit peckish, thirsty. So let's. We came from that way. We came from over that ridge there. So we need to go that way. Sooner or later, we're going to come to a road. And I think that's the road right there. Good place to chart. Yeah, that kind of fills things in, doesn't it? So if we go up that road, we get to the radio tower. We can grab a few sticks on the way. We just use our ankle there. Now if we get up here, we can't get up there. It's too steep. There we go. We get up here. We can go over here and do a quick survey too. There we go. So that puts us right about there. And there's a big black thing off to the right there, whatever, that's rocks. So, back up the hill here. And follow the road to the radio tower. There's another good spot for a rest here. We'll sneak in here and do another charting. Okay, that pretty well rounds things out. We'll get up to the radio tower here. That's well, an old man's beard here, but we really don't need it because we don't tangle wolves. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Oh, yeah? Ooh, crows. How come there's crows here? there's a frozen corpse down there. That's why. I don't think we can get down to it. Not and get back up again. So let's go drop off our goodies. Get them curing. Figure out what to do with the rest of this daylight. Have we got any fuel? one stick. We have a book to read, which we might as well go and do. While we're waiting everything to get cured. Uh, where should I put everything to get cured? Right here in the middle. So let's look at our craftables. We got a bunch of guts. Drop that, drop that, there. The rest we can hang on to.
That'll come in handy. There's another rifle cartridge. And another grape soda. And a plastic container, which is empty. So let's, uh, let's have a drink. We'll do this off the radial dial. Whoops. And uh, we might as well drink that. You can't see the conditions, though. That, that's not good. So let's go into the food. Look at the condition. Yeah, that's the lowest condition. Let's eat. Get rid of the pop. Because it's heavy. We have some fresh venison that we have to cook. And we have something here we can. So let's set up a food locker. MRE, nice. Can opener we don't need. Food locker, where's the food locker going to be? It's going to be the food locker. Okay, low condition stuff. get rid of the heavy stuff so we gotta cook those we gotta drink that put that in 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 what we need to put in so we need some we need some uh here's a pea coat and a bandage What have we here? Don't need that. Storm lantern. Here's the hunting rifle. Just what I need. It's going to take a lot of cleaning to get that back in shape. We have enough meat. So let's go find some wood. No wood in here. So let's drop our meat here. Okay. Drop some water. We're full and stuff, so all we need is wood. You can hear those crows. Now oh, here's here's something that'll do. It's getting in low condition. That's going to be okay. So let's drop our wood here. That takes care of that. Wilderness Kitchen. You want to read that? <laughs> okay, we're done.
So shall we make fire and cook? Let's grab some water. What do we have to eat? Yeah, a granola bar. Yeah, so much stuff, really. It's just. Uh, let's use some tinder. We run out of accelerant, so. Yeah, we can't use that, so let's use that. I can't cook. I want to cook the meat. It's not letting me cook the meat because I don't have a cooking pan? I don't understand. Very mysterious. It's cooked. That one's cooked already. Did we put the raw ones in there? We must have. I don't understand. Well, maybe we didn't take the uh, meat off that last one. We can make coffee. done researched all our books so I think we can safely go to bed and conclude this episode thank you for being with us remember to join the long dark community on Facebook it's a group Food in here, cooked, cooked. That's ninety-eight percent. That's seventy percent. So that's what we want to eat next, anyways. Uh, and then if we sort by condition, you probably want to eat that. It's like next. something is sapping my energy. I know you're tired, bud. We just have to wait for these things secure, because we don't have, we do not have a crafting table here, do we? No. Hope nobody needs this anymore. More coffee? There's so much coffee in this game. Good. This could be really useful. Could be. Well, let's get 
Let's get, uh... Get our food back in the food locker here. Oh, it's dark now. Yep, there's the food locker. And we'll sort by condition. And we'll, so I'll put that in there. Okay. Just a match is all we need. And that will conclude our episode for today.